in automotive, traditionally we have seen a trend line where there's a standalone cluster and then another system uh, make the IVI. Uh, but we are seeing a shift towards a fully digital cockpit where both the IVI and the cluster become part of the same system. When the complexity of the system grows uh, and both the IVI and the cluster are creating uh, a compelling user experience, it's important to create it so that the unified experience goes across all the streets, across the IVI, to the cluster, to a possible head-up display, uh, to the passenger screen, to the rear, uh, rear seat entertainment, so that the complete experience is unified across all the screens. And then, of course, when you unify the experience, the best way to do that is to, by unification of the technology, so that you leverage the same technology and to build all these systems, and optimally, you might even want to run them all on the same high-power system on chip. I have a demonstration of Qt Automotive Suite with me here at Embedded World. Uh, it is showing um, an IVI system done uh, with Qt running on top of uh, Linux, normal Yocto-based Linux. There's a certified hypervisor running on the system on chip, providing an uh, instrument cluster, which can be then certified, running on real-time operating system and the in-vehicle in infotainment system that is uh, not needed to be certified for functional safety. This kind of separation is important because when you create safety critical systems, it is essential that whatever happens in the IVI system, uh, it cannot interfere with the safety critical features of the digital instrument cluster. The Qt Automotive Suite provides a way to handle multiple processes and separate applications in the system. We are using Wayland and we have created our own Wayland compositor on top of that to make it super easy to configure uh, the UI for different applications in the system. The biggest uh, benefits uh, of having multiple processes instead of one uh, is that when you create a complex system, if you have just one uh, process that is handling all the functionalities of a complex IVI system, it is typically very difficult to change once you have had it uh, ready. So today's consumers are used to getting software updates, new applications, new features, uh, during the lifetime of their devices. Uh, a car is a product that they are using for multiple years and obviously it is something that the typical consumer expect, expects to be evolving over time. Uh, when these kind of changes are needed, the only way to provide them is to use applications. Even if the applications are not coming from third parties, having applications coming, uh, having the system partisan by applications will enable uh, the system to be changed more easily uh, because one application change doesn't then disrupt the whole system. Our Qt Valent Compositor has a benefit, especially when used in conjunction with Qt, because it provides a super easy to use QML interface to define your compositor and change it. And in automotive industry it is important because uh, when the manufacturer has multiple models for multiple markets, there might be a necessity to change. Both during the design, when you are trying to find just the right uh, set of your system, and maybe even during the production time when you want to tweak around how the system actually looks or, or how it reacts to different uh, options that you have in the car. By having the versatility of the Qt Valent Compositor, uh, it is easy to change the places and locations where different applications are in the system.